What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And we're back playing some more of Marvel Future Fight. And boys, I am so hyped right now, boys. I've been living this entire day for this moment right here. We're actually going to be tier threeing my girl, Sharon Rogers. The wait is over, boys. We're gonna be bringing my baby to tier three and we are gonna be testing her out in a few different game modes. I'm so excited, like everything in my day has just been building up to this point. I've just been living this entire day for this moment. And I know it sounds crazy because this is just a game at the end of the day. But I guess I'm kind of crazy. And by kind of crazy, I mean completely batshit crazy. But anyways, boys, let's get to it. My baby, Chirag. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Let's take a look at this tier three animation. Really, that's it? Uh, you know what? That was cool, but it was so assured. I was expecting something as cool as what we got for Deadpool. Like Deadpool's tier three animation, easily the best tier three animation in the game. I gotta share this moment with the Alliance, man. Woo! Woo! We feeling nice right now. Legendary captain. Oh my goodness, boys. We got a tier three Chirag. Golly. I thought her rank would go up a little bit, but we're still 6,000 in the world. Really? There's that many Sharon Rogers out there already? my goodness all right so oh yeah i forgot about this feature let's check out what she looks like in that animation on just the base kit let's see it it's just the same thing okay it's the same thing how about this one starlight oh Yo, that looks way cooler. I can't lie. I like the Starlight armor animation for the tier three skill the best. Honestly, I like it best of the three, but obviously this is the best uniform. Oh my goodness. I'm so amped right now. So we're 1500 in the world. I wonder if we could push her rank a little bit more because there's quite a bit I could definitely do to make her stronger. I got the uniform to rare but we still have to work on our urus getting all five slots amplified and i started awakening her iso but obviously we can definitely make this significantly better we still need to get a ctp of energy to change this but that's another topic for another day boys enough waiting let's get into that action all right first and foremost boys we're jumping right into it world boss ultimate world boss ultimate and we're gonna put her up against my guy Cull obsidian and i want to test her out here on 39 and we're gonna run her by herself actually we're not gonna use any strikers because i want to see how much damage the tier 3 skill does seriously i didn't even look at all the buffs that it gives let me look at it right now right quick one thing I'm really happy about is you don't have to charge it. Okay, so we get the damage immunity, damage reduction, we get a 110 proc, the extra crit damage, and then we get the penetration, ignore defense, damage accumulation. All right, cool, cool, cool. All good stuff. All right, so we're gonna run her with Ancient One lead and Phil Coulson. Let's get it, boys. Oh, no strikers, I said. Let's try our no strikers first and see how it looks. All right, boys, let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, I'm so amped right now. Like, I'm shaking in excitement, boys. I can't even formulate proper sentences. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Where's that proc at? Let's go. Let's see it, baby. Let's see it. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Woo! Yo, that was nice. We got a solid two bars off this guy, bro. That's insanity. Hold up. Bro, the tier three skill 
does hold up i gotta try and get it yo where's the proc come on i still haven't gotten a proper <laughs> Yo, the damage is insane! <laughs> Holy shit, guys! Yo, the damage is ridiculous! She does like two or maybe three times more damage with her tier three skill compared to her four skill with the proc. I'm standing in the poison here, but it's been, hold up, let's see it, let's see it again. Come on, I still haven't even gotten a proper like damage proc to a line yo that is insane oh snap all this time yo i'm so f yo honestly i'm so flustered because i'm so hyped right now but y'all notice that the damage immunity on the um sorry on the tier three skill that thing lasts for like a solid three or four seconds so when they said right here that it only supposed to last for one second Yo, dude. yo, it's two bars every time and I'm late with the proc every yo, this thing lasts for like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Her tier three skill, easily one of the best in the game right now. That is insanity, bro. Like if we lined up the proc properly, she could crush this whole damn thing by herself in two minutes. I need to calm myself because I feel like I'm yelling right now. <laughs> Guys, what is this? I'm calling it right now, boys. I'm calling it right now. Shirag, in terms of DPS, is definitely going to the top of the game. Her survivability is definitely not the best still, but right now, in my opinion, PVE, she's top three. She's top three. Honestly, I want to put her at number one, but y'all know how I feel about Wanda, and I feel like when it comes to World Boss Ultimate, which is where I spend the majority of my time, Wanda is essential. She's essential for basically any lineup because of her mind control and she does respectable damage as well. So that's why I don't want to move her at number one spot. But I feel like right now in PvE, my guy, we're talking Scarlet Witch number one because of her overall utility and because she's amazing on her own. Whew. And then right behind her guy, yo, it's a fight for that second spot. DP has great damage and great survivability, but you have to do a lot to get a lot of damage out of DP. You got to stack the third and his sixth skill and then try to line up your proc properly. For Shirag, all you really need to do is get the proc to line up on the freaking sixth skill. And that's magic. This giant Odama spirit bomb rasing shuriken, whatever the hell thing this is, is insanity. It's insanity. There's a ton of damage here. Like, for a character that's not applying all defense down to Black Dwarf, to have him nearly dead in two minutes, that is insanity. Without strikers, bro? Without strikers, bro? This is insanity. Like, I'm mind blown right now. Shirag. Guys, Shirag. I kind of see why they didn't want to give her the heal because she would have been so freaking broken. She's definitely had a cable. I don't think the number one cable in the world right now can out DPS my freaking Sharon Rogers, even though she's what, 1500 in the world. I don't have a CTP on her. Imagine if one of you guys have a CTP of energy on her and you line up the damage proc properly. You could probably kill Black Dwarf in one minute on stage 39. There's barely characters in the game that can do past 30 against this guy. She's crushing 39 by herself, right? This is with me, no practice, missing the damage proc. Like, well, I'm not missing it completely, but I'm late with the proc, right? That is insane. That is insane, guys. Oh my goodness. I really feel like I'm gonna push for like a top 500 or a top 1000 Sharon Rogers just to see how much damage we can get out of her, bro. Like, holy snap. So we're 1200 in the world right now. Real shit, my guy. I'm getting this uniform to Mythic. I'm gonna play around with her Urus. And I'm fully awakening the ISO set. I'm gonna push her like I push DP. Y'all already know I have mad love for DP. That's my guy, right? 
I'm gonna have to give Shirag the same treatment because I see her potential being freaking ridiculous, guys. It's freaking ridiculous the amount of damage this girl has right now just on that tier three skill. I'm honestly contemplating buying crystals and waiting for the CTP of energy to be back in the freaking shop and blowing all of that, trying to get a CTP for her just because I wanna see how much more damage I can get out of her. Jesus, I don't wanna like offend those of you guys who are hardcore Christians who get mad when people say God or Jesus, but like, like I'm mind blown, bro. I'm, oh my goodness. You know what, guys? Enough talking, man. I said it, this wasn't about talking. This was taking up. Bro, we're going into giant boss raid. Hopefully, we don't disconnect a lot. Let's see how much more damage you can get out of this girl, man. Boys, 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 let's see if she can out DPS this cable and this gambit, even though they're not done. But it's got left right away, bro. You don't want none of that smoke. <laughs> My guy left right away. Holy, yo, yo. My guy don't want none of that smoke. Oh my goodness, yo. I'm just gonna play around and wait until Master Mode is ready, man. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's just trigger it right now. We're gonna get it back anyways. I feel like, yeah, it's a big waste to use it on these guys, but it's fun. We're gonna get it back anyways. Yo, what's going on? Oh, this guy left the team. Okay, good. So both my teammates left. That's good. Hopefully I don't get disconnected too. Cause then that's gonna piss me off. That's the one thing I hate about this game mode, bro. Let's see if we can solo this thing with Shirag. Let's go. Yo, just the residual damage from that. All right, watch this guys. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, stop, stop. Okay, cool. Yo, come on, where's my proc? Yo, that proc hell on it, but what what my guy my guy I, don't, I feel like I'm having a seizure my guy what the what's that? holy bro 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 hopefully I don't die during this what what is going on bro what the breathe Breathe. I'm gonna kill my teammates because they're not here. But, bro, what the hell is going on with this HP bar, bro? Bro, what the hell is going on with it? Bro, I've never seen his HP. Bro, we broke the game. We broke the game. I've never seen his HP bar look like this. Yeah, we broke the game. We broke the game. I'm sorry. We, we broke the game. And I'm flustered. I'm hella flustered. So both my teammates are completely dead. That's fine. We don't need them alive. This is great. This is good. This allows us to have a full run. Oh my goodness, bro. So the tier three status alone, turning this girl into a goddamn monster. Oh my goodness. What the this man, wasn't he supposed to heal? The thing just popped up saying he's supposed to heal. Oh my goodness, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Two minutes and 36 seconds. We by herself. I wasted the tier three skill at the beginning just on the mobs. Meaning, if I didn't waste it there, we could have probably cleared this whole thing in like a minute 30, bro. Like this is insane. Insanity. Right now, I'm calling it right now. If anybody disagrees with me, I don't care. Sharon Rogers, Sharon Rogers is at the top of the game in terms of DPS. I love Cable. Cable's a god. But if he's a god, she's a goddess and she's right up there beside him in status. But when it comes to DPS, 
she is above him she's above him by a long shot this is insanity i've never been this flustered making a video ever bro i feel like i'm yelling so loudly and i can't control it because this is how i get when i'm excited when i'm angry when i'm sad i just bro bro i'm gonna end the video right here this is insanity welcome to the age of sharon rogers i told you guys before the update even drop i said every single time sharon rogers gets any kind of love in this game she completely dominates it and this time is no different but looking at this none of those times even came close i don't see a future in this game at any point without sharon rogers i don't see a future i don't see a future I don't see your future. Oh my goodness. She's gonna bring death to everything and everyone you love. Hide your kids, hide your mom. If you don't like Sharon Rogers, you better start running, pack your shit up, and get the hell out of future fight because it's Sharon Rogers season, baby. Everybody's getting the business. I see her going stage 60 and hiring War Boss Ultimate. Keep in mind, boys, I don't have a CTP on her. I just have a regular custom gear, my guy. I have a regular custom gear. She's crushing everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the? I'm out, guys. I'm rambling. I'm out. You guys seen it for yourself. I don't have words to describe what the hell just happened. I don't have words. I'm going to have to rewatch this and try to find words. Right? So maybe next time when I'm using her, I'll actually have words to explain what the hell is going on. Right? There's one thing. There's only one word I can think of right now. And it's death to everyone and everything that opposes Sharon Rogers. I'm sorry. Right now, she's probably the best tier 3 character in the game. Deadpool's right up there. It's hard for me to say that as a hardcore, diehard Deadpool fan, but uh, Sharon Rogers, she's it, man. She's it. This is it, Chief. This is it. The best female character in the game right now for PvE. Whew. It's hard to say that, I know. Whew. It's, it's real hard to say that because I love Scarlet. Scarlet's mind control makes it possible for you to win in War Boss Ultimate with much weaker characters. But if we're talking raw damage, raw unchecked power, this is it, Chief. This is it. I don't see how they gonna top this. If she ever gets anything in the future, I don't see how they gonna top this. Catch you guys in the next one, man. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you guys can find words for what the hell just happened, please help me find words. <laughs> Because I don't have any, man. I don't have any. There's tears, guys. There's tears. Tears of joy. My baby's back. Like never before. It's like watching your kid grow up in front of you, man. There's no greater feeling. Shit. I'm out, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Jesus.